Hey, how's it going? And this video is kind of a supplement to what I just did on creating a custom menu system for your game. And this shows you how the menu system can be controlled with a keyboard input so that the player can call the menu up whenever they need it. So I realized in the old system, the menu pops up automatically and then once you press the button, it goes away. But then to recall it, rather than having to go on a trigger, you can just press control on your keyboard and the menu system pops up. So that's a really nifty feature to have for your game. And maybe in the future, Unreal will offer more keyboard access for us. But for now, this is kind of just the best I can figure out. But this is what it looks like. Let me show you what it looks like. So if I start the game, my menu system, see, pops up on the side there, right? And then everything freezes up. And I can make an effect go on like that but then I come out of crouch and let's say I'm I'm running around in my game playing my game and all of a sudden I'd like to access my menu I just press control and the menu pops up and then I can call it an effect but you notice too kind of I make the player go away when I press it because it's so effect 2 should pop in I guess it is already popped in so let me do call up the menu again and do effect one. Oh, the effect one is a tornado. So, and then I press control again, the player pops up and I can move, hit control, and then I can quit the game. So it gives me control over the menu system, so I think it's really neat. So to do this, and I'll put a link to the other video I did on creating the menu system in the description, but basically all we did here is we just create a verse device. And in our scene, what we have, we need a pop-up device and we need the, the spawner device. And so we have a spawner by default pretty much. And then if we go into the code here, this is all we have is, it's very simple actually. So we just have our device, our two at edibles, our spawner and our pop-up device. And then we have our spawner. We reference our spawner here on spawned event. We subscribe to this function here. And all this function does is get the Fortnite character and then subscribes the crouch event to this function. So we get this, create this function, it calls this function, and then it subscribes to this function. And this function takes in the character reference and the crouched for that event. And then we said, is the player crouched? Because we're hitting control, right? Left control. If the player is crouched, then show the pop-up device here. Right? That we brought in. Which we're referencing through my pop-up. My pop show it and hide the character. And then when you press the control again, then we, well, when we press the button to show the menu, the menu will take over the screen. So it'll lock everything up until we press a button. So it will dismiss itself. But then when we press control again, it shows the player and frees us up. And that's all there is to it. So it's a pretty nifty way to control your menu system. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. So take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.